Welcome to the webinar. Um, we have a lot of information to go through today, and I hope you'll find it interesting. Um, a little bit of background on me. Um, I, I started in the world of architecture and uh, transitioned into the world of lighting design, um, oh, about uh, 17 years ago. And it's, a, it, it's been a fascinating journey. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about um, some of the, the things I've learned along the way, but also uh, really what this is, is dealing with today is the evolution of uh, our industry. And I, I think that most of us would agree that the lighting industry right now is very different than the lighting industry of 20 years ago. And there are a lot of forces that are driving us today that um, are allowing us to do things that we have never done before, um, but also putting us in more of a central role in the design process. Um, so <clears throat> just to, here's the plan for the, for the webinar um, as I see it. Um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, what we do right now and, and how we work. And there's, there's an interesting evolution here. Um, we'll go back a, a few thousand years and come forward and see what the, the future holds as well. Um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the idea of narrow versus wide spectrum design and how we focus. Is, is our focus um, uh, in the narrow band or, or, or can we go beyond that? Um, what are the forces that move us? What are our pets? Um, so that's the, the people, energy, and technology systems that are out there. Um, and we'll, we'll talk uh, pretty in-depth about that. And then what I want to end on is sort of these, this idea of infinite possibilities, that the world in which we live in is, is, is full of possibilities for what we do, because we, we, we are a central role in everything that is happening out there. So <clears throat> with that, we'll move on. Um, our destiny really is trending towards higher levels of integ integration, which means that our knowledge base is trending towards um, uh, more understanding of cross-discipline uh, cross um, uh, involvement, right? So <clears throat> I, I would encourage everybody out there um, to look beyond the light fixtures and lighting control systems um, that, it, that exist right now and what we currently utilize and understand the technology systems that are becoming more and more uh, relevant and prevalent in, in our daily lives um, and also in our industry. Um, there's, there's, there's a few ways that this could go. Um, the, the giants of the lighting industry out there, um, the Philips, the Acuities, the, uh, the Eatons, the, you know, those, those, those organizations, they will try and drive a, um, a platform in one direction. The Googles, the Amazons, the um, uh, you know IBMs, they, they will attempt to drive a platform in another direction. Um, and then there may be the startup in a garage um, that suddenly takes over all of it um, with a simple innovation. Um, we see this happening day in and day out in Silicon Valley. Um, and the rise and fall of, of, of the technology um, world is fascinating to watch. Um, but we have to understand how that fits into our destiny as lighting designers and how we can utilize it better and take advantage of it to give back to the clients that we have and create more humanistic environments um, without being overcome by um, the you know, the, the, the draw of just putting more technology in, into a building. <clears throat> um, you know, that's, that's sort of the, uh, the soapbox that I wanted to stand on today and, and you know, just uh, get it out there into the industry to as many people as, as possible that lighting designers can play a larger role in, in this industry. And it just takes having a little bit of a broader vision.